Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Nisha Charles. This edition's top stories. So William George Mallet is recognized by the government of St. Lucia for his nearly 40 years of service to the nation. The Global Environment Facility puts a call out for its funds to be accessed by St. Lucians. All that plus the latest in youth development sports and the NTN Wapo Aquayon. The government of St. Lucia joined the Castri City Council in recognizing the contribution of the late Sir William George Mallet with the dedication of the Serenity Park. Sir George gave 38 years of service in the government of St. Lucia in the capacities of Minister for Trade, Industry, Agriculture, Tourism, Foreign Affairs and Home Affairs. During those years, Sir George also served as a parliamentary representative for Castri Central. On June 1, 1996, Mr. Mallet was appointed to the office of Governor General. Sir George retired from the post of Governor General on August 31, 1997. More from Anicia Antoine. The Serenity Park in Castro Central has been rededicated to the late Sir William George Mallet, who held a number of high offices in St. Lucia. Sir George served as the Minister for Trade, Industry, Agriculture and Tourism in the first post-independence government of St. Lucia and in later years served as Deputy Prime Minister. Um, Sir George Mallet served this country so well over the years, um, not just as a parliamentary representative. I think what stands out for me the most about the humility of the individual and seeing a park that, that carries the name of Serenity being named after him was his performance as Governor General. The daughter of the late Sir George Mallet, Juliet Mallet Philip, reflected on her father's accomplishments and expressed her gratitude to the government on behalf of the Mallet family for taking on this initiative. He was a man of the people and I say this from the perspective as a child growing up through the years, spending numerous Christmas days, Christmas holidays, accompanying my parents house to house, door to door in Castry Central to ensure that every single person was greeted and well wishes extended. He was a humble man, but he believed in that people to people engagement. He cultivated those relationships fastidiously. Sir George served the Castro Central constituency for 38 years. The parliamentary representative for Castro Central, the Honorable Sarah Flood Bobre, stated that the dedication will serve as a reminder of the contribution that Sir George Mallet made. I am aware and I am reminded every day of the big shoes that I have to fit because whether I go to Wilton's Yard or whether I go to the city, to the CDC area, so William George Mallet certainly left an indelible, indelible, indelible mark in Castry Central. I could say without saying much more that he consolidated. The ceremony took place Wednesday 13 for February 2019. From the Government Information Service, I am Anicia Antoine reporting. St. Lucians are being called upon to tap into financial resources available through the Global Environment Facility for projects in the area of climate change, and sustainable development, among others. General Norville has more. The Global Environment Facility United Nations Development Program, Small Grants Program, is a global program in 124 countries dedicated to addressing global environmental problems at a community level. With the continuous environmental degradation, such as the destruction of ecosystems and the species that depend on them, and the increasing levels of carbon dioxide, to name a few, poor and vulnerable communities are most at risk, as they depend heavily on natural resources for their livelihoods and often live in fragile ecosystems. National Coordinator of the Jeff Giles Romulus, explained the importance of community-level projects. To explore ideas for the sustainable development of our communities, ideas for the sustainable development of our country. And those of you who have funding already, please continue to contact us so we can upscale some of those ideas so that they can have bigger impact. We don't have to tell solutions in the world that the indicators of environmental quality all over the world seem to be trending downwards. 
The GEF has been in St. Lucia as a separate country program since 2012 and has funded in excess of 85 projects in the region of 15.3 million EC dollars. According to Romulus, the number of projects submitted for funding has declined significantly. The national coordinator is calling on the public to submit their projects as this can result in the sustainability of not only their livelihoods but that of others. No longer when I grew up in the 1960s and 70s in Zalusha, there's a plethora of ideas and little funding. Now, we believe there is much more funding, uh, but the ideas are not coming as quickly to absorb the funding for transformation. The program provides grants of up to $50,000 of direct funding to local communities, including community-based organizations, other non-governmental groups for projects, and indigenous people in biodiversity, climate change, mitigation and adaptation, land degradation, and sustainable forest management, international waters, and chemicals. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville. The Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations informs parents and guardians of students at the Ave Maria Girls Infant School that their wards are to remain home on Friday, 15 February 2019 to facilitate improvement to the physical plant in order to enhance mobility for students with disabilities. The department is committed to honoring the policy that emphasizes no child will be left behind. Section 14 of the Education Act, Chapter 18.01, in the Revised Laws of St. Lucia, also states all persons are entitled to receive an education program appropriate to their needs in accordance with this Act. The Department apologizes to all stakeholders and regrets any inconvenience caused. The Department reiterates its commitment to provide equal educational opportunities for all students, regardless of their physical ability. The ongoing crisis in Venezuela continues to be of concern to the government of St. Lucia. According to Minister of Responsibility for External Affairs, Sarah Flood Bober, the government remains steadfast in its position that the people of Venezuela should have a say in their democracy. We believe that there should be fresh elections in Venezuela. We believe that the people of St. Lucia should be the ones, the people of Venezuela, sorry, should be the ones to decide uh, their way forward. But certainly, um, at this point, as we indicated before, we believe that the electoral process that took place in Venezuela is illegitimate and therefore, in order to bring peace, calm and stability, the people should have an opportunity to uh, participate in free and fair elections and to pave the way. Obviously, it is clear that something needs to happen, something needs to be done, so it is for all uh, persons, it's, it's for all countries to use all the diplomatic um, skills that we have to impress upon the Maduro regime to say we should not be afraid of democracy, we should not be afraid of ever going to the people. The minister explained that peace and calm should be returned to the people of Venezuela. The government, according to Minister Flod Bobra, is also concerned about the security issues that have been brought to the forefront in the face of the Venezuelan crisis. When there is mass migration, a lot of other things that are undesirable will move with mass migration. So for us in the region, that is a concern, and we believe it is not something that should just be left, because it will uh, degenerate into civil war. This is what happens when there is a serious crisis and there is not a defined and positive and quick enough solution to it. It degenerates into civil war, and then control is lost of the systems, of the machinery. So all of that is of critical importance to us because of our proximity to Venezuela and because of the long-standing historical friendship we've had with Venezuela. The government of St. Lucia imposed the visa restrictions on Venezuela in 2018. And this is the NTN Nightly. Coming up, the latest happenings in youth and sports with Ryan O'Brien. With just one click, the internet connects people, businesses, and nations. Being connected can open a world of information and opportunities. You can get services and products of your choice much faster. From electronic financial transactions to connecting with family and friends. From being up to date with the latest news and information to learning new skills and acquiring academic qualifications. All from the convenience of your home or wherever you roam. Get connected today.
This message is brought to you as a public service announcement by Ectel, the NTRC, and this station. Welcome back. We join Ryan O'Brien for the latest happenings in youth development and sports. Hello, and welcome once again to your update from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I'm Ryan O'Brien. The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports is getting primary schools around the island ready to participate in the inter-district competition scheduled to commence in June. Coaches within the ministry have been assigned different regions to get the players ready for competition. In this newscast, we focus on schools from the northern region, which include Mondidor Combined, Ave Maria Girls Primary, Marsha Primary, Canon Laurie Anglican School, Gordon Walcott Memorial, Carmen Henry, Carmen Rennie Memorial, Vidbutai Combined, and Dame Perlet Louise. Training days for these schools are Tuesday to Friday at the respective schools. All the players from the various schools come together for one session on Saturdays between 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the VG Multipurpose Sports Complex. It's now just two days before the National Sports Awards takes place at the Royalton St. Lucia Beach Resort and Spa. Apart from the prestigious awards to be announced on the night, many other stakeholders will be recognized by the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports for their contribution over the last year. Thirteen personalities have been shortlisted for the prestigious awards. Also down for recognition will be winning national teams, lifetime achievers, among others. Saturday's ceremony is due to start at 7 p.m. The Mass United Insurance Secondary Schools Cricket Competition got underway Thursday. Some scores tomorrow on today's fixtures. Matches set for Friday include VFO Comprehensive vs PI at PI in a Group A match, Clendon Mason vs Granivier at La Rousseau's Denry in a Group B encounter, whilst Arthur Lewis Community College takes on Leon Hess at Grosselet in Group D. That's your update from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I'm Ryan O'Brien. Thanks, Ryan. St. Lucia continues to actively drive its social safety net reform policies and programs. An important step in this process was taken this week as a high-level delegation from the government of St. Lucia traveled to Grenada on a study tour of that island's social program, SEED, the support for education, empowerment, and development. SEED is a model program in the Caribbean region aimed at breaking the cycle of poverty through targeted cooperation interventions across the government system. In keeping with a holistic approach to the reform process, the St. Lucia delegation discussed policies with technocrats from Grenada's Ministry of Social Development, Housing and Community Empowerment. This includes a tour of a refurbished school compound opened three years ago, which is used as a residential facility for juvenile justice reform. And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Wapon Aquayo. Lani Sim Tupatu. Attention si ou se nom e be fan. Visite pla sante ou pou examine kou. Sa se an nit pou yo wè si lani pies moun o limon ki ni maladi TB e be maladi sexual. An kopani moun ki ni maladi HIV pe ni TB o si. Sav ki lani jewizon pou TB. Ou sa viv an bon sante mem si ou ni maladi HIV. Pale bay dokte ou. Pon responsabilite ou. Ede dou bout si me maladi TB ek HIV. Ou aje tout moun pou examine kou yo. Welcome back, and time now for the NTN Wapon Aquayol with Primus Hutchinson. Mr. Madam, Department of Kenya's Responsibility for Information, Government Services, as a GIS, as a Television National, NTN, Capacito, Nouvelle Aquayol, Mr. Primus Hutchinson. Situation, Security, and Call, PIA, Seyon, Kika, Chagrin, and Officier Education, Autant. A fait vol à l'école, fait main, revolver, drogue à l'école, PIA. J'ai fait nécessaire pour les officiers ministères engager diverses agences. A parmi eux, c'est la police pour essayer de trouver une solution. Selon Mme Lan, qui est en position comme chef officier d'éducation, pour le moment, Rufino Charles dit que l'initiative, ce n'est pas seulement pour protéger les étudiants, mais plus pour protéger l'environnement, pour faire 
pour être plus confortable pour y répondre madame Charles à nous ce qui la caïni la caïni vole en ces cuisines c'est l'école ça là et voler qu'à point sa maison et d'autres manger officier d'éducation a déclaré que ministère a fait effort pour ces étudiants trouver bon outil et pour y ça fonctionner effectivement et c'est mal foutu ça là qui a empêché sa fête à ce question pour armer les officiers de sécurité à ce l'école ça là officier police qui a département des relations et formation qui a tué position assistant superintendent pour les présents ça c'est Elvis Thomas par quoi c'est une action qui s'est fait vaille et vaille Thomas Vertiki pour armer les gens c'est un qui n'est brisé en pile étonnement mais si tous les deux organisations sont d'accord ça possible pour faire mais officier Thomas a aussi si j'y vais pour 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 tirer ses officiers de sécurité à l'école ça et puis mais étonnement par exemple pour y servir bâton vito équipement pour minoter et ministère a ça employé plus qui y ont officier à cette école ça là particulièrement les souhaits officier qui est ça pour sécurité à l'école Benaise Coudre déclare qui l'année l'école sans watchman et l'autre travail dis-moi la journée alors comme l'année l'école côté parents c'est ça face à la engagé dans business sécurité yo ça aider et assister c'est l'école ça là durant diverses activités là il possible il y aussi yo ni espoir qui en temps pour venir c'est l'école ça là qui ça ni en place camera CCTV police t'a déjà fait recommandation en face à ça là yo présentation en hauteur de 2.5 millions de dollars pour transformation système éducation PIA été faite par ambassade république des pays chine à taïwan pour gouvernement cette ici initiative ça là qui capable pour planter un système éducation PIA transformation des informations technologie assistant sécurité permanent à ministère de l'éducation Michel Charles déclare que ministère a embrassé une direction nouveau en façon technologie en programme éducation PIA il a ajouté qui collaboration ça là et puis gouvernement Taiwan au fait ministère à l'occasion pour organiser plan yo boukati kachil en parmi les officiers alors présentement assistance gouvernement Taiwan en direction ça là qui a facilité effort pour implémenter programme technologie en système l'école c'est le ci principalement information des communications technologie ça veut dire simplement service computer pour instruire les étudiants en diverses façons de éducation ministre pour l'éducation honorable docteur Gil Rigobert déclare qui il tue plein et excité pour développement ça là il dit que malgré ministère a déjà commencé à implémenter programme comme ça quand même initiative nouveau ça là qui a placé système éducation PIA là au plus haut degré particulièrement à l'école première et secondaire pour offrir les étudiants l'occasion pour prendre plus l'avantage de l'éducation ça là à l'école PIA ambassade de la Chine à Taïwan donc la Chine promet pour continuer faire continuer contribution pour éducation à cette ci il dit aussi qui il tue excité qui éducation à PIA qui plus avancé pays Taïwan j'ai assisté cette ci à éducation business tourisme agricole santé en parmi l'autre après 13 à peu près 13 participants sortis d'un programme synergy hot setwal castri engagé dans trois jours atelier pour apprendre manière pour ménager business au premier Synergy c'est un projet de tout business qui est représentatif pour cette toile castrui implémenté pour essayer d'improuver à sous la vie les résidents en paroisse castrui représentatif pour cette toile castrui qui aussi se ministre pour affaires les étrangers on est à Sarah Flood Bobre causé et puis nous concernant l'avantage projet ça là pour nous ca ouais qui manier nous ça par jeune mon travail et mon travail et là nous chai mon qui qui un petit business mais yo you pass sauf qui manière pour yo manager la new shimon qui veut contract la new shimon qui new landscaping business la new shimon qui new petit petit boutique et ben petit magasin et ben petit place côté yo ka van manger by moon et moon comme ça on chaide yo pas sauf qui manière pour manager business là yo ka venir yo ka mandé nous pour contract et les au fin fait toi voilà yo pas ni en pièce largeur pour que puisse yo partir manager les affaires à dans manière qui ca porter calter euh l'argent d'atelier 
Selon Honorable Bobre, le programme qui a été conduit, c'est un programme qui est différent. L'année qui a joué, il y a un qui est manier pour actuellement manager le business. Ce n'est pas tout le monde qui a été assis à leur classroom, qui a écrit, qui a compris tout ce langage du business. Là. Mais ça, uh, ça, Café, c'est moutoué, alors yon mané yon ka actually fey pou ko yon, alors yon joué, so yon yo sa apwan ni primer. Donna Hyacinth, c'est yon ansi participant pour gam sala. Il ka yemene mwen fou de la vie, pou mwen sal sala fey ek business mwen financially, ek pou mwen market business mwen. Oui, ek mwen de fashion business, so il ka yemene mwen primon yek, c'est moun set li si, de fashion. Monsieur, Madame, en continuation, présentation, Premier ministre Alan Chastney, dans l'adresse libre pour nation, pour l'année ici, nous avons placé l'attention à la justice et la sécurité, et le programme social et l'engagement pour la jeunesse. Premier ministre Chastney déclare que, dans le temps, les situations crimes, quand chaque année se veut payer autant, le gouvernement a tenu pour servir la majorité en trois mois qui passaient pour trouver une manière pour protéger la police et puis c'est plus sept équipements qui peut être avalables, qui étaient avalables, les ont entré, qui partaient avalables, les ont entré en pouvoir. Selon Honorable Chasney, la terre, Jodia, sous pani caméra, à tout petit bout là, oui, ça c'est CCTV, sous pani lab, sous pani un système de justice, et Kylo Dias, qui a coopéré ensemble, sous pani ses qualités équipe des communications avec l'auto pour ce police là n'est brisé, sous pas ni un bon système de justice et qui ont établissement pour conduire l'audience en pays ou pour comparer pour faire bataille contre le crime. Selon le Premier ministre Chasney, accordé sa partie à ses chaises à sous deux gouvernements, la police pays a trouvé un parti savoir agir parce qu'elle a tenu un barouad qui était affecté et ça a affecté la performance de la police là sérieusement. On a premier ministre là annoncé que depuis le commencement, le gouvernement a pris des marches pour abattre le crime à tout degré. Il m'a montré que, comme il a viré ouvert la forensic PIA, qui a aidé à faire plus haut investigation dans le crime, ça a aidé autant pour trouver succès dans plusieurs cas de viol. Le premier ministre là a déclaré que l'établissement nouveau pour ces policiers de PIA, qui a six cas d'audience, car il y a un sort qui est très avancé pour éprouver l'opération de la police à parmi l'autre facilité. Le Premier ministre Chastney a remarqué que malgré la route est très loin, toujours, mais bon progrès a fait pour adresser la situation de la pays. Le Premier ministre Chastney a aussi placé attention à son service social pays pour, pour, pour adresser les pauvres et les gens qui ne sont pas bien payés et qui ont assistance. Par conséquent, la journée est plus et fort pour tuer la transformation et pour soin des enfants de l'école. Il y a aussi le gouvernement a imposé un programme pour assister les grands citoyens qui accueillent, augmenter le travail social, imposer à son législation pour les enfants qui ne brisent assistance, longer à son programme après la journée de l'école et pour encourager plus jeunesse pour enregistrer en divers clubs et pour quitter vieilles compagnies. Euh, il fait un grand appel pour que le pays fait plus bon, euh, bon citoyen pays pour décourager le crime et supporter les polices. Et c'est comme ça que nous avons un bout de programme, un bout de nouvelle pour nous. Je vous remercie autant pour regarder et vous avez une invitation pour jouer depuis encore. Je vous remercie pour cette nouvelle créole. Merci à Peel Primus. Et here's a look at what's happening to us weather-wise. Moderate to brisk easterly winds and rough seas will continue around the Eastern Caribbean over the next few days. A relatively dry and stable atmosphere over the Lesser Antilles will influence mostly fair weather conditions during the forecast period. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to brisk winds and rough seas. The tide for Castries Harbour was low at 5.56 p.m. and will be high at 12.59 a.m. The tide for Vieux Fort Bay will be low at 7.23 p.m. and high at 2.06 tomorrow morning. Seas locally rough with waves and northerly swells 6 to 8 feet or 1.8 to 2.4 meters. The sun will rise Friday at 6.27 a.m.
And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel.